exercise is everybody's favorite that we love to hate. So first of all, neutral is when we have basically enough room, <laughs> enough room for a foot to fit in beside, in between our real feet and our toes and our knees and our hips and our shoulders are all facing forward. So when you're in this position, this is neutral, you wanna think about lifting your leg, right? Like right now in this very moment. So this is a march, right? Super clean, I'm not letting the leg go out to the side. This is a march, right? So as I march, as I bring the leg up, notice that the foot is staying flexed and notice that when I return the foot back down to the floor, the heel is basically landing underneath my butt. When you're laying down doing this exercise, that's gonna allow you to target the muscles of where your hamstrings and your glutes meet. On top of that, this is always last, usually last in people's program because their piriformis is super tired from the leg lift and the clam. So you're actually working your hip in three dimensions. Your hip flexor for the anterior, your glute hamstring connection for the posterior, and then the lateral or the sagittal plane, your piriformis. So good luck by the time you get to this. So you'll be on the floor, get that band up above your knees. Sometimes they're, they're gonna slide on you a little bit. So, you know, just choose your battles of where you want the aggravation from your band. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So this one, I do bring my legs close to my, as close, close to my chest as possible. I make sure they're still stacked. Now I use my forearm and I have everybody use their forearm until they really get um, a concept for where their body is in space. So from here, if I lift my leg up, flex my foot, I have my knee level with my elbow for the most part. So my goal is to march up to my elbow and then now get that heel in alignment with the bottom of my butt, okay? So I couldn't pause out there for too long because the band started to roll and that's what I mean. It's like sometimes the bands slide when your leg is straight or when it's bent and so now it's pretty much staying still. I think it kind of slid into place. So now as you do this, you wanna feel that that leg is traveling on one horizontal line, dead center in the hip, okay? So a lot of times what people will do is they'll drop the knee in just because that muscle gets tired. So if you think about having your elbow there, it gives you something to aim for instead of letting it go down to your wrist. And then just be aware that you don't let your knee face the ceiling. We're really trying to keep it on a horizontal plane so that we work front, back, and side. 